Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. It is a stormy and blustery start to the day. But look at this cute pup. Oh gosh. She loves the rain. <laughs> Sarah gave six vials of blood this morning for a bunch of tests, so we are gonna try this new restaurant. Well, not new, but we're gonna try this restaurant that's new to us, Sanctum Cafe. We're gonna order it, and I'm gonna go pick it up because it's just over on Colonial, not super far, and it looks good. And also, when Sugarboo, when you can't go to Sugarboo, Sugarboo comes to you. We we finally. We went, we went ahead and bought this. They have a 30% or 20% sale right now. Apply that checkout. He said that there are two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. And we here at the Brookhart household, we definitely li live it so that everything is a miracle. Can't wait to get that and hang it up. A track shack, what up? And here we are, Sanctum Cafe. Cool little decoration over there. Um, I gotta show you that piece of artwork on the back side of the building, but I just called it in. They're gonna bring it out to the car, curbside pickup. Really cool, I wanna go, I don't know why, Sarah asked like why, this is not too far, why we've never had this before, but we'll see. I'm getting my Casey nice to have vibes on with a, with a smoothie, like a pressed drink smoothie thing, kale based and pear. This is smoothie number four. They don't have names, they're all just numbered. Well, these are fancy looking townhomes or something or other, but this is the back side of Sanctum. I want to show you this cool artwork here. Really cool over here in Mills District. Um, let's give it, get home and try it and see if we should actually suggest you guys try it. All right, so like a lot of places these days, they have a cool stamp and they just get like a generic box. Mine's a beet Reuben bowl, right? Yeah. Oh, gosh. This looks like divinity, but I think Sarah would absolutely hate it. That's my worst enemy. Beets are Sarah's worst enemy. Beets and olives. I'm just gonna pour those sauces Ooh. in there though. But Sarah loves a good sauce. It smells good. It's. I think I smell the sauerkraut. I like pickled stuff, but pickled beets taste like dirt. I got something. My smoothie is good, but it's just really teeny. It's, it tastes like a dessert. I got loaded potatoes. Basically my hot toddies from <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the cheesy homies. Um, but it has coconut bacon. Oh. And then I got, it is plant-based, but oyster mushroom soup. That's interesting. It just looks like slop. <laughs> All right, so I think it looks a lot better. I got the two sauces and they're mixed up and there's pieces of potato and pieces of tempeh and beets. Looking good, smelling good, tasting good. This would be wonderful. But they're sweet potatoes. I don't like sweet potatoes. I don't think it says sweet potatoes. I wouldn't have ordered it if it said sweet potatoes. I'm sorry. But all the toppings are really good and kind of helps it. So that's like... 75% of your meal right there was supposed to be potatoes, which means this thing is 75% of failure. So, it's 440, but I'm, I'm stopping working right 450. now. 450. 450, which doesn't sound as exciting that I'm like, I'm stopping work now to stick it to the man. But I'm taking over that night process. One of my team, one of the analysts on my team, I make, I ask him to do it during the week and then I, just so nobody from my team has to work over the weekend, I run it over the weekend so I'm taking that over tonight so I have to go back just to like hit start on this thing that runs for about an hour and a half later tonight but I just got off a call with this ridiculous thing that we've been working on trying to fix that I thought I fixed last like finally figured out last night and figured out even more today it was so proud and detailed well it is all accurate but we have to like make these two reports from it it's just manual checking for 400 things and so I said, I have, to, I have to get it done over the weekend because it has to be ready Monday morning so we can submit it to the proper people that need it, so. Maybe a rainy day out, but the Aldi visit is done. All right, so 
big Aldi haul done, going off to Publix to get a miscellaneous handful of about eight or nine items on the way home. And then we should be good for groceries for a week or even two. The way Sarah planned this out. And I stocked up on snacks too. And then it gets real exciting because when we get Avengers, first big milestone in the uh, MCU movie lineup is the first Avengers. Last stop before Avengers is our classic retrofitted Publix. Our Publix visits or the matter or everybody else's targets visits. So we come here thinking we're getting three things and then we get everything. It has stopped, I think it stopped raining or it stopped raining enough where I can run and my stubbornness was hoping that it'd be running so late that I couldn't go run. But I just called Sarah to ask her a few questions about the groceries and I said, I have to run when I get home because if I we watch Avengers first, it'll be past curfew by the time I'm done. So time to go home and run. Peter is a savior for our tummies. Look at all this. And he was very speedy. Record time. You may not know this about Sarah, but she was a first baseman. This is what it means when you are a first baseman. Was NANA, AA fields? No, ETGSL. <gasps> Okay, seriously, can. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously? No! If you were ready. Yeah, but I'm not because you're crazy. I thought you were a first base woman. I was, the first 10. In a count of five, four, three, can. I quit because Peter can. ruins my life. And I don't have time for sports anymore. Little can. Okay. Uh, coffee, one, two, three. Coffee, one, two, three. And pretzel. I was in one of those, like, I'm hungry now mode. So Peter got this as, like, a before dinner snack. This is so much false advertising. I thought it was, like, a hot pocket size. It's so tiny. Look at how it looks inside compared to this photo. However, I must say it's pretty delicious. So I might have another one or I should just cook us dinner. I think Peter's uh, Peter's going on a run. I have to finish the first one first. I know, but like, what if I'm full? We'll, we'll let you know if I have a second one and we'll let you know if Peter goes on a run. Okay, I went for the second one because I have no control. I think I came home about an hour and a half ago. You were supposed to go straight away. Team determination, more like team. <laughs> Be careful with your words. <laughs> I'm going now. It's nine o'clock. It's less rainy out now. And it's when I come cool. back, Avengers. And babach minus the sausage. I don't know if I got your feet. You didn't. That high. You haven't been able to jump across the run Disney finish line to practice your hops. Don't be mad. I'm going on a run because I'm mad. <laughs> run your anger out. Wait, the dog. <laughs> hey, you little girl. Okay, so I'm making a very simple but delicious meal for us. Our family calls it babach. I don't know the origin of that. Um, it's typically made with sausage, but we're not using like any sort of alternative today. So just the veggies. First, I'm heating up my oil. So you start with your potatoes, because they take the longest to cook. I did two potatoes. I know my mom sometimes, if not always, skins the potatoes, but didn't have the time for that so I didn't um, and you want them to get crispy so you don't want to touch them while you're chopping up your other ingredients um, and have as many of them touching the actual pan so that they cook 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 if you are going to use sausage chop that up now while you're chopping let the potatoes sit also like cut the potatoes pretty thin um, they'll cook a little faster 
and then while well, I eat chop up, let that cook, and then put the sausage in next, but mix it up, and then just make sure like the potatoes are still cooking. I'm not using sausage, so I'm gonna go straight to my pepper. Typically, it would be a green pepper, but I wasn't specific on my grocery list, and so I'm just gonna use whatever kind of pepper I have. And I might use one, or maybe two, depending on how big they are. So I just did one pepper. I'm gonna make sure that the potatoes are all touching the bottom again. And cut up my onion, which is the last ingredient. Also, I'm cooking on like medium heat. Okay, so I added half an onion. It was more than enough. I'm gonna let it just keep cooking. Turn it down a little bit, but um, just want the onions to get see-through and the peppers to be a little more um, tender. And that's the blotch, plus sausage. So it's truly just like, Kind of like a breakfast skillet with no egg or cheese. But that would be good on it if you wanted to be a breakfast skillet. Um, but I'm just going to let it crispify until Peter gets home. Rainy, rainy Park Avenue. But it's nice and empty. Everybody being safe. I see a fellow runner over there crossing the street. <sighs> Feels good. Uh, just gonna put four in today. I think I'm gonna push it a little further tomorrow and Sunday because the weekend I'll have the time without worrying about work and I can be flexible on my schedule of when I can go run in regards to temperature outside. So, and I'm kind of racing against some storms rolling in. I, I checked the radar before I started and they got some, some thick clouds, some dark green clouds coming in on the radar. So, I mean, I'm okay if I get stuck in the rain because they have races in the rain. Um, when you trail run, whenever I start doing that in my life, trail races don't end in certain kinds of weather. So, but it feels really good when I'm running. There's a little bit of a cool breeze. Uh, haven't talked about it too much, but Sarah and I are really deep into some ACS plans. We got some quotes on this book that Sarah's going to design for me. Um, on these runs, I use them as like writing time in my mind to kind of stage the two to three minute video I'm gonna make that's gonna be like our PR push to explain why we're running, why we're doing a world marathon, what is American Cancer Society, what your donations go to besides me running around the world and what as a business you can get for that in regards to sponsorship and, and us sharing your message as a company. The links are always down below and we're always talk up for talking to any of you guys if you guys are business owners um but we still gotta watch avengers when i get home and tomorrow we're actually doing a chicago marathon ace team determination zoom meeting so that'll be interesting because i don't know i don't know any runners on the team in chicago besides grant and i don't know if he's going to be joining the call but jessica and some of the other acs team members the workers will be on it and you guys know I know I know and I love them so it's rainy it's a dark weird strange time in society right now but there is beauty in the world you can either live life like nothing is a miracle or you can live life like everything is a miracle and those are miracles the fact that I am doing these runs is a miracle the fact that Sarah has a baby cooking in her belly is a miracle and the fact that the internet exists and connects all of you with us in such a friendly, loving manner is a miracle. Super glad we were born, but in this day and age, and not another time, but I would have been a good newsie. If you remember that, I would be a good newsie. Home, showered, heating up my food, delicious food Sarah made, and then we're gonna watch Avengers, right? Yeah. What's wrong? You're sore? So tired. You're tired? You're gonna love Avengers. You're gonna be so psyched into it. Um, I ran four and a half miles, 8:46 pace, rainy but not thunder or lightning, so that was safe. Um, at 74 miles for the month, so I'm setting a goal by Thursday. I'm running another 26 miles, so to hit a 100 mile month, haven't done that in a little bit, but I think now is the best, more best time. No better time to do that than now. It's Friday. It's the weekend. It's the party time express, movie time. You know what that means? What you just asked for? A vacation drink. Vacation drink! 
Um, I still feel like an uber 90s kid with this backwards hat with my hair sticking out, so I'm not really feeling a super tutorial. Splash of V8 Tropical Blend with the cold, refreshing, crispy, throat crackling refreshness of Seagram's Ginger Ale. Throw that on the rocks, call it a day. One part, three parts. Boom. Tesseract has awakened. First Avengers, here we go. finished Avengers. Let's go find the message. We got about 35 minutes in before she dozed off, so we'll pick up with that tomorrow. We'll just have to do a double feature tomorrow and do Avengers and whatever is next at least. Um, let's do the message. Today's quote is by none other than Leonardo da Vinci. It had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened two things. Ooh, that's a good quote to live by. That's a good quote watching the Avengers. It's a good quote to do ridiculous things like vlog every day and to do even more ridiculous things like run a marathon every single day for seven days. We love you guys. Hope you have a good weekend. If you're watching this and it's Saturday, make sure you go ahead and make the most of the rest of your weekend because uh, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.